Now, I just did a video where I washed my Cybertruck for the first time and told you things never to do, like using Windex as well as a Magic Cleans Mr. Eraser because it will damage your stainless steel. And I thought this was just like my stainless steel appliances and I could use my barkeeper's friend's soft cleanser as well as a non-abrasive sponge to get rid of all of that caked on grime really easily without leaving any scratches. However, I end up scratching the crap out of my Cybertruck. Because there's no clear coat like on regular cars with paint, I couldn't find a way to get rid of these scratches. So I did some digging. I went to the Cybertruck service manual and they talked about how to remove scratches in the stainless steel. It requires super specific equipment and sanding. And you can't just fix like one area, you have to do the entire section, otherwise it looks uneven. And the whole point of getting the Cybertruck was so I didn't have to worry about scratches if I ever went off-roading, hit rocks, or hit a bunch of trees. I didn't have to worry about those dreaded pinstripes that a lot of other cars have to deal with. But this baby scratches so easily, and I think it's so horrible that you have to buy one of these Cybertrucks and pay an additional $6,000 or maybe even more to get your Cybertruck wrapped or paint protection filmed. However, luckily I was able to speak to the head of the Tesla detailing team who details all the Cybertrucks for delivery and he gave me some insightful tips, which I'm gonna share with you today. First thing he told me is he is constantly cutting himself to the point of bleeding like an actual gash from the stainless steel panels. So be very careful when you are washing or working with it. I haven't cut myself yet, but I might get like a sanding bar just to sand down the edges a little bit because there are some sharp edges. Holy, did you see that just closed the door on me. So what did I learn? Well, first off, don't listen to the Cybertruck service manual where it teaches you how to get rid of scratches. It has like different grit levels as well as the polisher they used. Don't listen to it. The reason why is because he told me that he had a whole team, they tested out what Tesla recommended. However, when they used exactly to the T, the sand grit and all that stuff, it made the stainless steel almost like chrome. It made it super shiny. He thinks that whoever made the Cybertruck service manual for the scratches used the wrong type of stainless steel. Now, even the detailer who's been detailing for years is still learning so many new things about the Tesla Cybertruck stainless steel finish. However, his go-to has been a battery-powered polisher. I thought I had to get some crazy sanding polisher. He also uses three pads. So, the first one is a microfiber pad from Meguiar's in combination with Barkeeper's Friend Foam Spray. He does not recommend Barkeeper's Friend Powder as well as a soft cleanser as it contains an additional abrasive which can easily scratch the Cybertruck, which is what happened to mine. As far as removing the scratches, he recommends using this 3M Ultra Fine Disc. It helps just to create an even swirl on the Cybertruck. It's not really removing the scratches, it's more so just masking it. And then to finish it off, he recommends these 3M Scotch-Brite blue pads, just to create a more even haze to the finish. So again, make sure you do not use Barkeeper's Friend Soft Cleanser, as well as the powder version, because of that additional abrasive, it scratches the Cybertruck too much. This one is the least abrasive. It doesn't contain an additional abrasive on there. You can easily clean any stuck up grime on your Cybertruck. So if you're seeing some sort of grime and stuck on fingerprints, maybe water spots on your stainless steel, and you can't get rid of it like mine, the first thing you wanna do is take your polisher as well as a Meguiar's microfiber pad, and of course your barkeeper's friend foam cleanser. All you have to do is find the area that has issues. I'm just gonna spray my microfiber pad, spray the area, and then you're just gonna place your foam pad on here, and then I have it on the setting one, and we're just gonna go up to two, and we're just gonna go back and forth maybe twice and see how it looks. So very light pressure, remember, you're barely touching it. And I also recommend getting some alcohol from Amazon, and we're just removing that barkeeper's friend to see how it looks. So already you can see it looks so much better. That marking that I told you that used to be there is not there anymore. Okay, so you saw that I was able to get rid of all the issues on a certain part of the stainless steel. However, when you are doing the truck you have to do the entire section, otherwise it's gonna look very uneven. And that's kind of the problem of using things by hand is yes, you may be able to get rid of it just really easily and quickly. However, you're leaving a ununiform finish, so it's gonna look different. And again, this may lead to some scratches. Okay, so this whole area, including the foundation series badging, is all scratched up. You can just see all these scratches right here. So we're gonna tape off the trim. Then we're gonna go ahead and use the barkeeper's foam because I have some weird fingerprint smudges on the edges here. Now we're gonna see if we can make this a more uniform finish. So take your time, otherwise you will scratch 
the plastic. All right, so I definitely had some weird fingerprint smudges on this side. Level two. Now, ideally, you don't want to do this in the sun, but I want to show you guys the scratches. So as you can see, it definitely removed all this weird grime here. So the one thing you should listen to on the service manual is when you do a panel, you want to do the entire panel. If you have scratches here, you can't just do one panel. You have to do this whole section, unfortunately. However, luckily with the polisher, it makes it so much easier. So we got this one first. We're going to use this first to kind of remove all of these scratches. Then we're going to finish it up with this. Okay, so we're going to start right here. Remember, very light pressure. Sure. You're almost pulling away from the panel because this does scratch it a little bit more, but the whole point is to create a more uniform haze to it. So I'm gonna go ahead, I have it on level two. Actually, we'll do like two and a half. Very light pressure. Now, you can wear a mask if you want to because it does kind of get some stainless steel dust in the air. So I'm just gonna do this foundation series panel real quick just to show you guys how it looks. And already it's looking so much better. While there still is scratches, it kind of just has a more uniform haze to it. And don't worry about the badging, it's etched with like a laser, so you're not gonna remove like the badging. So next we're gonna take this and we're just gonna help buff it even further to remove some of the scratches that you see right here. And then just kind of go over the entire finish real quick. Look at that, look how good that looks. All those scratches that you saw, it's more of like a uniform haze. And then after every section, just turn it on, use a mic, use a very fine bristle brush just to remove any of that stainless steel excess. Like look at all this stainless steel, whew. No lube, no nothing, no compound. Don't use polisher compound or polisher that you use for a car because that stuff will scratch it as well. So you already can see that this side is just a more finished look, although there still is some scratches, so I still probably have to do another pass. Compare that to this side, there's just so much more scratches on the area that I didn't finish at all. So see how there's a, there's a little difference right here? This side has like a more uniform haze to it, whereas this side is all scratched up. Now as far as removing any sort of fingerprints goes, he recommends this invisible glass glass cleaner. It doesn't contain any ammonia, so it's safe for like window tint, but this helps remove those smudges easily. I personally recommend ONR. It works great. doesn't leave a streak or finish, and it helps just clean up some of that stainless steel. But there you have it, guys. That's how you remove those micro swirls or minor scratches from your stainless steel finish. I'm still trying to figure out how to remove those deeper scratches, like the ones if you put your fingernail, you can catch it with that. So I'll definitely do a dedicated video on that later. However, overall, as long as you remember the important things, like taping off your plastic trim when you are using the 3M Ultra Fine Pad, as well as doing it in three steps, which is the Barkeeper's Friend first with the microfiber pad, then second is the Ultra Fine Pad, then the 3M Scotch Bright Pad, you should be good to go. Make sure to subscribe because I'm also gonna be doing different ways on how to protect your Cybertruck stainless steel finish. There's like ceramic coating, there's also something called Protect Clear that prevents fingerprints. And of course, I'm gonna test out certain panels with paint protection film to see if it's worth it, to see how well it holds up under car washes and all that fun stuff. Anyways guys, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.